what we're in is the first era of Internet of Things. Right now, it's I take an object that's already in my home and I connect it. However, they're not at a scale where they can start to innovate based on a platform. When things get to scale, that will start to see Internet of Things really bloom. I think everything what is in the cloud is more secure than offline. One part is this kind of more secure, the, the other one is the ease of use. I, I firmly believe it's needed, and it's actually a chance, if you may allow me that, that statement, a chance for the European industry. We have lost the battle for the digital internet towards, with, with respect to consumers. So digital enterprise, still something to, to own from the, for the Europeans, I would argue. Um, I think this becomes a competitive competence, effectively, in this world of the Internet of Things, of how good you are at, uh, at demonstrating the value of personalization and your custodianship of personal data. Data is obviously essential to create the utilitarian value of any offering on the Internet of Things. Fundamental to that issue of uh, gathering data is what kind of data, what is the context? I mean, currently we are gobbling data endlessly, but most of it is without any real meaningful use useful context. There should be some kind of a, a, a rebalancing act here where more um, human values are injected into this uh, data machine and also it will allow the data machine to be more optimized. We talk about data privacy and what it means data, uh, to have data security rather than talk about the benefits coming out of the data first. The issue is how do you inject love into this whole equation? <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of uh, discussions about benefits and so on. The more we inject uh, these type of values, the emotional values into the discussion, I think it will be a lot easier to deploy a lot of beneficial uh, technology. A smart product is the manifestation of all of those components coming together in one thing. What we're going to expect in the 21st century are products that adapt to our behavior, um, that don't need an instruction manual because they've got algorithms to have an instruction manual about us. Data and a smart product are the same thing. They're intimately linked. I don't think there's going to be much hesitation at all to put IoT into the home en masse. Consumers need more of a conversation. So what I almost want for my house is like Slack, where the different objects can talk with me, I can talk back to them. And over time they get to know me and they know what I want, but I know what they're thinking. And if my lights start acting weird, I can kind of pop in and see where the logic went wrong. We tend to focus a, a lot on actually IP level of getting something connected, but this is really about the indexing of all physical things in the world, getting the, the content, the information about all physical things of the world into a shareable and mashable environment. Yes, it is the internet of everything, but it's the web of everything, actually. It's about getting the, uh, the content from as many physical assets as we can into a shareable environment. And by shareable, that doesn't mean a free, open, unconstrained environment. It means an environment of controllable sharing transactions.